Well, hey there, I'm Brady from ProChurchTools.com and I wanna share some website statistics that I think your church absolutely needs to know. Here we are in the 21st century and your church's website is one of, if not the most important part of your church when it comes to first contact with visitors and new people. Check out this first statistic. Nearly half, 46%, of people say that a website's design is their number one criterion for determining the credibility of an organization. And basically that stat outlines that if a website was poorly designed and sucky, visitors to your site would in turn conclude that the church itself is sucky. Now, is that a fair conclusion to make? Well, of course not, but it's reality nonetheless. Here's the second stat. 94% of people cited web design as the reason they mistrusted or rejected a website. And I would consider myself to be in that 94%. I've landed on pages that could have been offering amazing stuff, but the design was so atrocious that I immediately clicked away and was distrustful of the organization. Moreover, there's a general rule on the internet that says that an average visitor to your site is going to stay for about 10 seconds before clicking away to another site. In 2013, a study by the U.S. National Library of Medicine revealed that our attention span is only about 8 seconds long, and this coincides with the time that will allow for a website to intrigue us. And if it doesn't intrigue us within 10 seconds, well, we're gone. So to recap, what are these first two statistics telling us? Well, number one, for half of the people, the quality of your website's design is the number one criteria that determines the quality of your church as a whole. And number two, if your website's design is poor, 95% of people won't trust your church or what you're saying. Also, remember that you only have about 10 seconds to make a good first impression on a visitor before they leave your site. To summarize briefly, if your website's design is poor, people won't trust you, and you only have about 10 seconds to make your argument. And I don't know about you, but when you go through these statistics, it's easy to feel a lot of pressure. Like, man, our church's website is super important, and like, if we don't make sure it's awesome, we're gonna be missing out on a lot of connections with real people, and our first impression that we're making is not gonna be good. And I totally hear where you're coming from, and while I don't wanna make it worse, let's look at the final two statistics, and these are specific to church websites. The first one says this, in 2012, 46% of church attenders said that a church's website was important in picking a church to visit. Second statistic says 33% of people said that the internet was the first place where they learned about their church. So what does all this information say? Well, in big bold letters, your church website is important for many people. Your church's site is the very first point of contact that they're ever going to have with your church. In decades past, the first point of contact someone would have had with your church is when they walked into your building. And that's why greeters exist to make a good first impression and to make everyone feel welcome. But guess what? Before someone ever steps foot in your building, they're gonna type in your URL nowadays. And your church's homepage has on average about 10 seconds to prove and explain to that person why your church is great. Because your church is great, at least I hope it is. So what are we to do? Well, obviously, our churches need to focus on creating better websites, but we can't just do this by stabbing in the dark and hoping something works. We need a proven system, a framework, or as we like to call it, a blueprint. The 11-step blueprint to building a better church website. This is a blueprint that we've created, and it's how we build all of our websites. It's how we've built websites that get tens of thousands of visitors every month. But not only do our websites get visitors, our visitors take action when they're on the site, because we don't want to just having someone land on our site, we want them to interact with us also. Now, there are a lot of cool elements to this masterclass, to this blueprint. Obviously, in this course, we walk through each of the 11 steps to build a better church website, but we also covered the two biggest mistakes that church websites repeatedly make. And we're gonna show you how to shoot beautiful photos for your website, and perhaps the most exciting part, we use the 11 step blueprint in this masterclass to actually build a church website from scratch throughout the course. See, we didn't just wanna share this valuable information, but we also wanted you to see it in action. So there it is. The stats prove just how crucial it is that your church's website be purposeful and of high quality. And we've created an 11 step blueprint to allow your church's website to get to where it needs to be. Now, this is a course, we like to call it a masterclass, and it's only available inside of Pro Church Academy. So visit ProChurchAcademy.com and you can get registered. Before you go, let's recap each of the four statistics one more time. Number one, nearly half of people say a, a website's design is their number one criterion for determining the credibility of an organization. Number two, 94% of people cited web design as the reason they mistrusted or rejected a website. Number three, 46% of church attenders said that a church's website was important in picking a church to visit. Finally, number four, 33% of people said that the internet was the first place where they learned about their church. Your church's website is important, so go out and build a brilliant online presence.
Well, hey there, thanks for watching this video. Hope that you loved it. We publish a new video every single Thursday, so make sure you hit subscribe above. Also, you can watch last week's video over here, or you can check out other good stuff like Pro Church Academy and our weekly audio podcast over here. So, lots of amazing choices, so choose wisely.